Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached that time during the pre-release for a Sonic game that, unfortunately, the leaks are coming out. Things are being data mined and things are being revealed and uh, a lot of it, unfortunately, is very disappointing. But as well as that, we've got a bit of news, so we're going to discuss a lot of this already, so yeah. Uh, let's just get into it, man. I'm a bit sad talking about this video, man. A bit sad, but uh, yeah. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to Twitter. We Sonic Rush. So we begin with the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account. Come on and jump by subscribing to our emails by November 1st to receive the Sonic Jam Legacy skin in Sonic X Shadow Generations on October 25th for PS5, 4, Switch, Xbox and PC. Then they show us this little video here of the Jam Sonic skin for the uh, Sonic that needs to die in the franchise and uh, yeah. It's about what you'd expect. It looks like a mod and um, yeah. There you go. So right here we have from Giu Gabs. Ian confirmed he is rewriting part of the original generations in recordings. Considering what he's been saying before, I wonder if he will try to sneak out stuff he doesn't personally like. Not looking very bright. Now before we carry on, I just want to say this right here. Just because Ian Flynn is rewriting a game, that doesn't mean he has full creative freedom. He is still going to be mandated by Sega on what he can and can't do. So just be aware of that. Just keep that in mind. Just because Ian Flynn's writing, it doesn't mean he can go crazy berserk with the story. No, he's still going to be limited by what he can do. Stuff were done to be cohesive, but if they think what they wrote in the story of the animation is short, it's cohesive to Shadow's past story. I don't know what to think. I mean, I'm not the biggest Sonic lore master in the history of Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that, but did the Shadow short really ruin that much? Am I missing something here? Because I don't think it really did, did it? Because we never saw much of Shadow's past anyway, except for in Shadow of 5, so... I don't think the animation shot is too breaking of the canon or anything like that, so I think it's fine. Should be alright. Come on now. But yeah, as talked about in a previous video, Sonic Generations is getting rewritten and therefore redubbed. So when it comes to playing Sonic Generations, just be aware of that. So hopefully this means that Sonic Generations will actually have a pretty decent story now because in the original game, it was kind of crap because uh, there was no story at all. And for specifically a 3D Sonic game, yeah, that is a massive loss. Sonic games, especially 3D ones at least anyways, have always had stories being a big part of them. And for Sonic Generations to just not have any story in the slightest, yeah, that was a massive loss and definitely held the game down a lot. And while I don't think this rewrite is going to make the story that much better into something amazing, there'll at least be a bit more meat on the bone this time around. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the news in today's video then. So it's now going into leak territory. So if you don't want to see or hear anything about it, then uh, leave me. The door's right there, leave. But if you do want to keep your expectations in check and are just curious about the leaks in general, then uh, please do proceed. So we have this tweet right here from jav underscore dot a Sonic Frontiers mod of mind you. Sonic X Shadow Generations getting data mined as we speak. Mute the words Shadow Black Doom, Sonic Generations, Ian Flynn, IDW Prime and Momentum. Then Declan Downs replies with, wait what? Nothing explicit for now. No one that I know is personally doing it for sure. The game got preloaded to an Xbox thing. So technically you can just get an XVC file. It's officially out. I don't expect much to come from it though. It's encrypted. Fair to assume people are looking into it. So essentially all that people are seeing right now of the game are the file names and even though it's nothing major major, that still does reveal quite a lot. So we carry on to this tweet right here from All Christina 2. I heard rumours there's potentially no Sonic vs Shadow fight in Shadow Gens. Some people are upset, but personally I don't care. I got my boy Mephilis, so I'm good. Plus, we already got enough Sonic vs Shadow honestly, and this is only the beginning of the disappointment for the game, so uh, just be ready. But honestly, even though this is disappointing, I said it in the past, I think in a live stream or something, but I did kind of see this coming, to be honest with you. Because again, let's be real. If they weren't going to recreate the original Sonic vs Shadow fight from the original Sonic Generations, what were they going to do with the fight? Because again, if they recreate that exact same fight, the collision was going to be weird because it's running off the Frontiers engine and all that, and uh, Frontiers collision is a bit, you know, janky. I think the boost is a look or feel nearly as fast as it did in Generations, so it would just feel worse in every single way. It would look visually, in terms of graphics, it would look better, but again, it would just feel worse, so... This is kind of expected to me. So even though I am disappointed, I did see it as a possibility, so at least I kept my expectations in check a bit. But the next couple of tweets are where things get even more disappointing. So we have again from Declan Downs. How extensive are the leaks? Very small right now. Just a boss count from what I've heard. Then somebody replies to all Christina 2, 
with something and of course because I'm the controversial Twitter guy I'm blocked by that person so I can actually see the reply and then all Christina 2 says four black doom has three phases so there are three phases of black doom in this game now apparently it's actually not three phases of the boss fight it's actually three separate encounters with black doom throughout the entire game kind of like infinite enforces a bit which is certainly an interesting take and speaking of infinite let's carry on reading so infinite isn't a boss these are the only bosses bio lizard mel overlord mephilis black doom and then the most disappointing part of this all the reply to this which is yep yeah, from what I've heard. Infinite is not in Sonic X Shadow Generations. A big loss for the Infinite fans out there. We thought he was going to be redeemed in this game, but no, he is not in there. And uh, you've also noticed probably that uh, Emerl also is not in this game. So there are no rival fights in this game, only boss fights. And the reason I find this even more disappointing is that this means they've shown pretty much every single boss in the trailers and not left anything as a surprise, except for, of course, Black Doom's boss fights. But even then, that wasn't even a surprise either, because you can already assume that, yeah, you're gonna fight Black Doom, his main villain of the game, yeah, you're probably gonna fight him, so... All the bosses are not a surprise at all, and we've seen the full boss fight of Femel, Overlord, and Biolated as well, so... Half the boss fights we've already seen before we've actually played the game. And even though it made for some great trailers that were actually very hype, that does mean that people who've seen the trailers for the game already are not going to be surprised by any of the bosses when it actually comes to playing the game. And the way it's looking as well, it does seem like we've already seen what the final boss is actually looking like, because we've seen that massive Black Doom sphere thing in the sky, then we see a cutscene of Shadow in the White Space where everything's gone all red as well, so... Have we seen the final boss fight and everything as well then? Like... They're really not saving anything as a surprise for this game for some reason. Like with Frontiers, I would argue that at some point they weren't showing enough, but for this game, they're showing way too much and they're showing everything. And that is certainly going to raise people's expectations way too dang high, because you don't usually show everything for the game in a trailer, you save some surprises for the game, so it is just a bit weird. Now there have been no mention on how many stages are in Sonic X Shadow Generations just yet, so... At least we have that to be a surprise, if there actually are going to be any more surprises, at least anyways, because we've seen six zones already. But yeah, the fact that Infinite is just not in the game, I still find that to be a massive loss, I mean, you've got Sunset Heights in the game, and you're not having Infinite as a boss fight. How are you doing that, bro? How? This literally could have been his redemption game. We could have had Infinite written properly, but no, that's just not the case. I don't know if it's like a budget thing, or if they ran out of time, or maybe he was never planned to be in the game in the first place, and we were doomed from the start. But again... Infinite is kind of a key part of Shadow's history because Shadow started Infinite as a villain, so again, why is he not here? Ugh, this is really disappointing, man. I really do hope that there's actually a surprise stage in this game that we haven't seen yet. At least two, because they've shown off all the boss fights already, so give us some more surprises in terms of stage, at least, anyways. Like, give us at least two stages. Anyways, that does it for today's video, then. So, yeah, the leaks in today's video, very, very disappointing. No infinite in the game, and no Sonic boss fight, even though I kind of expected that. And, yeah, let's just hope that there are more surprise stages in the game, because if there aren't, I really do think this will be a bit of a fun in terms of the marketing like even though yeah it's good marketing to show things that look cool for the game but then in doing that you've basically ruined any surprises that the game could have had but who knows maybe later down the line they'll get some dlc for this game where we can get some more stages and maybe an infinite boss fight that way i honestly doubt the boss fight part but maybe the stage part could be there i don't know but let me know what you guys think of these leaks. Are you disappointed in the fact that infinite isn't in this game and do you think they're even going to be any more surprise stages in the game let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by hitting that join button down below. And remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.